Breaking right now, the manhunt for a gunman who murdered a man outside Monrovia. Plus, we're bracing for rain. This news starts in 60 seconds. This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. We begin here at 11 o'clock with breaking news near Monrovia, where an investigation is underway into a deadly shooting. I'm Jory Rand. I'm Giovanna Lotta. L.A. County Sheriff's deputies are on the scene at Camino Real and Flagstone Avenue in an unincorporated area just outside the city of Monrovia. The call came in just after 9 o'clock tonight. Deputies say the victim was shot several times and was pronounced dead at the scene. They're apparently searching for two male suspects. No word yet on a possible motive. Also breaking tonight, a man claiming to have a bomb inside his car drove up to the White House checkpoint tonight. Police confirm they have that man in custody and are now searching his car. As of right now, several streets around the White House have been temporarily shut down. This is the second security incident at the White House today and the third this week. Just a few hours ago, the Secret Service stopped another would-be intruder. The agency said the individual was immediately apprehended after jumping a bike rack on Pennsylvania Avenue. President Trump is currently in Florida and not in the White House for either incident. Rock and roll loses one of its giants. The man who led the way for its biggest stars, Chuck Berry, has died at the age of 90. You couldn't say just one person invented rock and roll, but if you had to pick one, it might be Chuck Berry. Yeah, it'd be a good pick. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell is live at his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame tonight with reaction to the death of a rock and roll legend. Amy. Jory, a lot of heartfelt tributes pouring in tonight. As a musician and performer, Chuck Berry inspired his fans and a generation of great musicians. 